In rather grim news, the European Union has voted in favour of the controversial, the dreaded Article 13. Article 13 is part of a wider set of rules which are intended, we're told, to protect rights holders. Though funnily enough, a lot of independent creative voices have not been in favour of this at all. EU member countries now have two years to implement these new rules which will be holding tech platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube more responsible for material posted on their services. 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 That really is the best my fucking voice is going to let me say services, is it? Fucking hell. It's been days. The so-called copyright directive passed by five votes, and it's championed by the likes of Debbie Harry and Paul McCartney, just to show you how uh, cutting edge and with the times the champions of this directive are. The EU wants platforms like YouTube to do the lion's share of the work in finding copyrighted material, or alleged copyright infringing material and have it removed before it can even finish being uploaded. And if you've been following the history of tech platforms attempting to moderate their own content, you'll know one of the big reasons why people have been dreading this whole fucking thing. YouTube has been fighting copyright infringement for years, and it's been going about doing so in some of the most inept and worthless ways possible, because tech companies don't want to hire humans who understand things like context and instead rely on auto automated bots, they rely on content ID to automatically find, track and flag potentially copyrighted material. And it's always potentially because again, context is ignored. I mean, this European directive, for example, says that parody, criticism, uh, me memes as well, you know, being included under parody are all exempt from these rules. But I already do a lot of critical work. My, I mean, my channel is almost entirely criticism, but it's been flagged by Content ID who knows how many times. I get new emails about often years old videos being flagged by Content ID all the time over what amounts to pennies in revenue. I've had many critical videos subject to copyright strikes. Uh, I've had videos taken down sight unseen before. I've had videos blocked in different countries, often over seconds of material that's usually tied. I mean, sometimes I get cheeky, you know, I use Chains of Love as part of a, a copyright deadlock to keep some of my videos ad free. But in general, uh, a lot of these videos of mine, they get flagged, uh, blocked in countries, demonetized, fall squarely under criticism and it's often like a handful of seconds of footage of something all with my work falling under criticism and that's just now this is before the draconian measures come in before YouTube's put under more intense pressure. I mean, right now, original musicians can have their own music claimed by a third party. A third party that doesn't have to prove who they are. I've had many fucking videos claimed by companies with names that I don't recognize, that I've never heard of before, that have no social media presence, that can have no blowback against them for falsely claiming things. They don't have to prove a goddamn thing, and that allows them to point at an original piece of music that's been uploaded by the artists themselves and say, we own that. Now, why aren't politicians looking into that? Why aren't they looking into the fraud that's on the platforms? Why aren't they looking into the abuse that's on these platforms? We could be looking at cases of targeted harassment on these platforms. We could be looking at the, the children being creeped on using these platforms. But no, no, the most pressing thing for fucking politicians and their moneyed friends is that the rights of fucking corporations get protected even more, as usual. More protections for corporations, more for them than for normal, real fucking human beings. So long as they're looked after, so long as fucking companies get theirs, even if it's not theirs to get. Yeah, let's look after the rights of companies like Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, which knowingly issues false DMCA takedowns of people's content, knowing they're false, knowing that content they've taken down from the internet either doesn't belong to them or is protected under fair use and parody, but because the way they go about things isn't strictly illegal, they're fine with doing it. They're open about doing it. Because politicians can frame this any way they want. They can talk about how great this is for creators and artists, ignoring the fact that a lot of creators and artists 
millions of them are not in favour of these rules. They can claim it's all about protecting the creatives all they want, but it really always, always comes down to protecting the corporate side of things. The movie studios, the record labels, and the third parties that work for them without ever having to prove credentials, without ever having to prove who they are, without ever having to prove context. Now, attention was first drummed up about these rules by calling them the meme ban. That's catchy. It's reductive, but it's catchy. I've used the term myself, but we really, really must focus on the fact that it's not about memes. I mean, they've said that memes are exempt, that's not something that YouTube's bots are ever going to understand. But this is about so much more than memes. This is about overreach. This is about a very vaguely worded set of laws. Ones that have been improved since they were made public, but are still giving a ton of power to companies getting to claim rights to other people's work. And effectively carving up the internet because these rules apply in the European Union, but they don't apply anywhere else. Which means worldwide content either watering itself down to appease these rules, or effectively region locking the work they make. And this is already happening on YouTube. There are videos that get blocked in different countries, like I said. There are uh, things like BBC videos that are viewable only in countries, you know, only in like the UK, where the license fee funding BBC content applies. By putting the responsibility of copyright enforcement squarely on the shoulders of companies like YouTube, these rules make it even easier than ever for corporate entities to overreach, to claim ownership of the internet. And that sounds alarmist, but you know what? Some alarmism is needed to address this shit. And I don't put anything past fucking companies. If there's one thing this channel has consistently spoken about, it's the lack of trust any fucking corporate entity deserves. Tech platforms will likely need to apply more oppressive filters to try and catch this content before it goes out. And who exactly is gonna determine what those filters are? Who, who would you trust on the corporate side of things to start filtering out the internet? The fucking backwards thinking cretins who work for the RIAA or the MPAA? Game companies that still love content ID like Activision or Konami. Do you want Konami deciding what creative endeavors are okay and what aren't? Copyright law needs shaking up. Copyright absolutely as a concept needs shaking up, but companies and politicians want to do that in exactly the wrong ways, go in the wrong direction. Direction. Because, of course, to them, any use, no matter the context, is theft. They'll pay lip service to things like parody and criticism and fair use, but they don't really believe in it. Not when 30 seconds of a freely distributed trailer for a film or a game used in a critical work can already get you demonetized. The internet has changed the way we absorb content, the way we use content. It's changed the game irreversibly. Attempts to corral it, like Article 13, is like trying to put toothpaste back in the tube. Rather than be more restrictive, copyright needs to become more flexible to reflect the way we consume, the way we interact with content today. There should be proper rules and practices for identifying the context of a work's use, rather than simply the content itself. Because if companies have their way, then all content use is theft. They want to be the sole distributors of any single tiny atom of the things they produce. And if these companies could effectively, definitively stop their work being criticised or parodied, they sure as shit would fucking go for it in a heartbeat. In fact, they already do, and they're allowed to get away with it, and they want to get away with more of it. YouTube's spoken out about this, they've put out a statement that reads, The final version of the EU copyright directive is an improvement, but we remain concerned. Article 13 could still have unintended consequences that may harm Europe's creative and digital economy. We urge EU member states to keep these concerns in mind as they move to implement the new rules. I take umbrage with one part of that, where they say that, that Article 13 may have unintended consequences. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I guarantee you that whatever consequences there will be were intended by some fucker somewhere. But all in all, this is complete and total bullshit. There are so many problems with YouTube. There are so many societal, financial, creative issues with YouTube. 
But the kind of content that most of these companies consider copyright infringement, that is so far down the fucking list of concerns that should be had. The whole thing feels like yet another case of out of touch fuckers trying to drag the future back to the past where they live so they can more easily control it. Which has been a favourite tactic of a lot of companies over the years. We've discussed this on the Jimquisition many times. A company can't roll with the future? Well, roll everything back to the past. If you can't innovate, legislate. It takes things in exactly the wrong direction. There should be more protections for the actual people creating things, not the companies that get to sit back and already rake in billions of dollars. Fucking Bobby Kotick doesn't need the five bucks that could be earned off some average YouTuber's Call of Duty video. No, he needs a swift kick up the ass. All of them do. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm not saying Bobby Kotick's in favour of Article 13. I'm, I'm not sure what he's in favour of except money. But, you know, just fuck him on general principle.